David, what can we say? I mean, each day the song gets bigger and bigger. It's number one all over the world. It's the obvious question, but has it sunk in at all? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Zero. I, I still wake up at five o'clock in the morning like it's, like it's um, Christmas Eve. And I'm <laughs> to come down. I'm like, where is he? No, it's honestly, it's absolutely wild. It really is. So now, of course, you had huge success with Jonas Brothers, What a Man Got to Do. So you were thinking, well, this is not bad. But then to knock it out of the park again. I mean, what, what was going through your head when this all happened? Gosh, do you know what? I, th I think the thing is, is you never really set out to try and write a hit because it's like it's, it's just the wrong almost like energy to put into it. We just have fun with what we're doing. And if it ends up working and other people like it, then it's an absolute bonus. And I think it was just, a, it was it, the timing of this was so perfect because of the type of the song it was, um, you know, BTS being, you know, as, as big as they are. And also, um, you know, as animated and as interesting as they are to be able to sing those lyrics, you know. And also another thing is that we've obviously come out of this, you know, uh, awful pandemic or we're still in this pandemic and and people needed something you know really light-hearted and fun to 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 not really have to think about and it was just it was just the stars aligning really so it was just it was really magical and it's yeah i still can't quite get over it really what's the interaction been like with bts has it been much it's been more so with their with their team just going back and forth when we're actually getting the, the lyrics for the song right um, there were certain lyrics that they wouldn't have sung and we had some quite English sounding references in there like original the original lyrics which wouldn't have really made sense with um, with them singing it so we had to make sure that everything was tailored to what they would um, they would say really but it was a pretty simple process and it was still we didn't have to go into you know really overthinking anything it was just kind of just tailoring it like I said to make sure it fit them. So, so talk me through the whole past sort of week or two, because obviously the, the, the first news is brilliant. You're going you're gonna to write the song for BTS. Yep. It's going to be their first song in English language. Yep. And just talk me through what's been happening sort of every day by day. More news, more news, more news. To, to be honest, it's, it's just a total blur because, you know, <laughs> every day there seems to be another record broken um it's just like you know the first day um the video came out and i happened to wake up at 4 30 in the morning and it was being premiered at 5 30 in the morning and i snuck downstairs so i didn't wake my girlfriend up and and then sobbed at the sobbed at the television while i was watching it so that was the first piece to it um and then yeah since then it's just like you know all the bts fans of you know the army they're just you know they're on my Twitter and my Instagram and you know it's just it's just incredible because it's just it's non-stop like I said every single day you know another record's been broken we've sold this many it's gone to number one in that country it's it's just like mind-boggling totally mind-boggling so of course <laughs> the, the the easy thing now is well in, here's an interesting thing if you never wrote another song again yeah everything's great <laughs> <laughs> which is wonderful but i know you and you are one of the hardest working people that i know you're relentless uh but what is it like now do, do you feel as a has there a pressure gone or is there now a pressure on um i think do you know what i i, I never i think the reason why it, why it's working at the moment is because we actually haven't put pressure on ourselves. we're just doing what we kind of do if you know what I mean what nothing's really changed I've been doing I've been doing the same amount of work as I have been doing for the past 10 years um Jess and I who I wrote uh, the Jonas Brothers song with and and Dynamite with you know we I'm with her three four times a week and you know I think the main thing is just keeping the work rate up and just having fun with it the more fun we have the more seems to come to us. And it's like, it's that saying, you know, the, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And it seems to be, you know, that everything is starting to pay off now. I just think it's just making sure that we keep that momentum um, and, and, and do the right things really. But yeah, we're just having fun with it. And, and I hope it will continue. You have got 
an army behind you, and that's the BTS army. I mean, they, yes. they, they, they truly are fans and fanatical, uh, as the name suggests. What difference has that made to you? I mean, they have to be the best fans in the world. They have to be the best fans in the world. Um, and it's just, it's just, you know, they, they, they get behind them so much and they're such an intricate part of what they, they do. So, you know, and for me to have the feedback from them all is, um, is so, is so encouraging because they're all, you know, super supportive of what I'm doing as well. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to just the songwriter and, and a record producer behind this, but I'm being treated as that I'm, you know, I'm an important part of this whole thing. Um, but you know, it's, it hats off to BTS really, because, you know, they brought the song to life, you know, everything down to the, the, uh, the slickness of the video. Um, it's just, it's just incredible. You know, everything, everything around them is just incredible. So yeah, it's, it's been, it's been amazing to watch the whole thing that like, come alive really. <laughs> so now, like, every, as I said, every morning I get up, I have a smile on my face about all this. I can't believe that the grin in your face must just be the biggest grin in the world. Yeah. My face hurts. My face has hurt for 10 days now. <laughs> It's great. And I call Jess, you know, Jess and I speak to each other three or four times a day anyway on a normal day, but it's about 15 times a day. Going, have you, have you heard this? It's ridiculous. So it's, it's kind of like that now. Uh, so now would there be more work with, with BTS? Uh, I'd like to hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to think so. I mean, we there's another little thing that I've been, I've been working on over the past couple of days and yeah, I mean, it's a pleasure to work with them because they're, insanely talented um and just and it's just for me you know i love making big bombastic pop records and who better to make it for than the best band in the world who can absolutely sing you know sing the hell out of it you know when i when we sent the demo for the song for for dynamite um it was i was i was singing on it and they took it up two semitones which I've got a really high voice as it is, you know, and they're absolutely, you know, it's right, sits right in the middle of their kind of range. So they just, it's just, the, the, you know, the whole thing around them is electric. So I love that energy around it, which, you know, super exciting for me. Also, you know, I, I've been, you know, on social media, you know, you're seeing people like The Weeknd on Insta yeah. saying, you know, congratulations, things like that. Does this open so many more doors for you? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it does. I mean, we've been slowly pushing the door open over, you know, quite a long period of time and the Jonas Brothers certainly opened it and this has now kind of almost swung it open further. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it just, it just now allows my name to be kind of, um, put in the same bracket as, you know, a lot of the artists that I want to be working with now. So I guess it's not so much us going to them as much. There's a bit more like, oh, they're going to come to us a bit now. So it's kind of a bit more mutual rather than us being like, hi, I'm here and I would love you to sing my song. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's the, 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 the biggest reaction that you've had for the song? Who, who surprised you? As I said, the, you know, the weekend has been on social media. Who, who else has, has approached you? Is there anyone else, any names that you've gone, oh my goodness me? You know, I actually saw the Jonas Brothers um tweet about it which was like an inception moment it was uh, it was really wild so um yeah yeah no it's it, it, it like i said every single day there seems to be another person talking about it and yeah it's been it's been really overwhelming so you mentioned artists that you'd like to write for who who's up there who, have you got like a top three of people that you'd really love to work with yeah i mean most definitely the weekend uh justin timberlake Ariana Grande. I love working with big voices, um, you know, so I think, you know, those, you know, I, I, and I also love big American artists and even Sam Smith, um, Ed Sheeran, you know, there's all sorts of people, you know, I, I just love working with great singers um, and great artists, full stop. I'm just excited to see, you know, who, who we end up working with over there for, uh, you know, however long. And just a, and a bit about Dynamite itself. So this song, it's so uplifting, it's so fun. It's a little bit of a throwback as well. When you were writing it, what was going through your head and yours and Jesse's head when you wrote it? 
I mean, I think because the lyric is quite, um, uh, it's a little bit off the wall, the lyric actually. It's kind of the whole thing behind the song is just this get up and go kind of thing about the day, make the most of it. Let's, you know, it's, it's, it was never taking itself too seriously. And, you know, I had a few people write to me about some of the lyrics, King Kong, Ping Pong, Sing Song. Actually, it was just like, it, it was just what just ran off our tongue and we wrote it so quickly and the whole thing came together so quickly. Um, and then um, I decided to put a key change in it because I just felt that, you know, life just needs a key change right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and, and, and who better to, to put, uh, who, who better to sing a key change than BTS? Here we are. And, and I want to take credit because I've always told you every song should have a key change. So exactly. so I, I'm claiming, yep. claiming small credit here. And I will biggest. give you that credit. I will give you that. We've had multiple key change conversations. And uh, I think you are actually the reason why this song has gone so big. There we are. Be between you and me, we've created the biggest song in the world at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, the, the success is so, so well deserved. Um, not many people probably know how hard that you've worked. You know, your family know all the, the time and the effort and the incredible talent that you've put into it all so far. So um, what can we say? Congratulations. On to the next big hit. Thank you so much. Onwards and upwards. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.